Why EV batteries are exploding like bombs? EVs are said to be the best thing that could ever happen to the environment in recent history. But the bad news is, EV batteries are exploding like bombs. Will EVs save the planet, or are they here to unleash the dreaded apocalypse? While conventional automobiles still compete on performance and fuel economy, electric cars do so while having a much less environmental impact. However, many people are still wary of electric automobiles due to their perceived downsides, which could prevent their broad acceptance. Today, we present all you have to know about EV batteries and why they are exploding. So without further ado, let's begin. Today's electric vehicles employ much of the same battery technology, which consists of hundreds of individual cells packed into modules of pockets to produce one massive battery. Some batteries can measure a few meters in length and weigh several hundred kilograms, hence, they are typically installed beneath the floor inside the chassis of a vehicle in what is commonly referred to as a skateboard arrangement. Sorry guys, we're not going skateboarding today, just battery arrangement. Each cell is combined with others to form a battery pack, which is then conditioned to keep the cells at their optimum operating temperature, no matter the ambient temperature. Most electric vehicle manufacturers like Tesla and Jaguar employ lithium-ion batteries, while hybrid manufacturers like Toyota use nickel-metal hydride batteries. There isn't much of a chemical difference between these and the batteries in your phone. Today's smartphones use lithium-ion batteries, such as those used in the iPhone and Samsung Galaxy, enabling rapid charge cycles. But in an EV, the requirements are sophisticated. They must be able to withstand being banged around by roads, potholes, and the elements while simultaneously storing a large amount of energy, charging quickly, and maintaining their energy density through thousands of charging cycles. Lithium, manganese, cobalt, graphite, steel, and nickel are among the main chemical components needed in lithium-ion batteries. These parts serve several purposes in the batteries of a standard electric car, all of which enhance its performance. For lithium-ion batteries to work, lithium ions must be transferred from the anode to the cathode, an internal process. Since lithium-ion batteries have better energy densities than lead-acid or nickel-metal hydride batteries, their usage in electric cars is more practical. Manganese's higher energy density features and reputation for stability make it a desirable addition to lithium-ion batteries, which are utilized to boost capacity and improve driving range. Further, manganese in electric vehicle batteries makes them less flammable, which is especially problematic for lithium-ion batteries containing cobalt. Cobalt helps lengthen battery life, graphite is essential for the anode that stores lithium ions, and nickel offers superior corrosion resistance and ensures dependable and efficient electrical and spark systems. Large EV batteries are necessary to supply enough power to move vehicles weighing 2 tons or more. Most batteries list their power output in kilowatt hours, which measures how much energy they can store for a given amount of time. It's analogous to the capacity of a car's gas tank with a traditional internal combustion engine. Therefore, an electric vehicle with a 100 kilowatt hour battery can provide 100 kilowatts of power for an hour at a time. Everyday driving consumes much less energy, so you can go for hours without charging the battery. When evaluating the lifespan of a battery pack, the manufacturer's warranty is the most reliable indicator. No automaker wants to be on the hook for the high cost of replacing a battery pack because they misjudge the pack's durability and lifespan. Therefore, the battery's limited warranty reveals the manufacturer's minimal expectations for a normal pack. Almost every electric vehicle on the market today has a battery backed by a minimum 8-year per 100,000 mile warranty. For example, depending on the model, Tesla's warranties cover between 100,000 and 150,000 miles and the battery for 8 years. This warranty protects you not only in the event of total battery failure, but also against significant deterioration. Some of its storage capacity is lost whenever a lithium-ion battery pack is charged and discharged. Over time, even minor decreases in pack maximum capacity can significantly impact an EV's usable range. However, the U.S. Department of Energy estimates that the service life of modern EV battery packs, depending on environmental factors, can be anywhere from 12 to 15 years. With the exception of slow-moving electric vehicles designed for use in residential areas, U.S. manufactured and sold electric cars must adhere to the same rigorous safety standards as conventional automobiles. However, electric car fires caused by batteries occasionally make headlines. Lithium-ion batteries fail for two primary reasons. The first is a flaw in the battery's production. The second form of battery failure is frequently the consequence of a combination of reasons, such as battery stress, such as vibration, an electrical short, or just a fluke. During failure conditions, lithium-ion and lithium-metal cells experience thermal runway. Thermal runway causes a rapid increase in battery cell temperature and pressure, as well as the release of flammable gas. These combustible gases frequently cause an outburst of flame sparked by the battery's high temperature, which finally leads to a fire. 
Aside from that, a thermal runway can be triggered by minute metal particles coming into contact with various sections of the battery, resulting in a short circuit. In the event of a slight short circuit, the battery experiences increased self-discharge, but minimal heat is generated because the discharging energy is very low. When a large number of small metal particles converge on one location, it can cause a substantial electrical short, resulting in significant current flow between positive and negative plates, which can cause a fire. In such a circumstance, the temperature within the battery's case can soon approach 500 degrees Celsius, resulting in the cells bursting or catching fire. A few studies have found that while electric vehicles are less likely to catch fire than gasoline or hybrid electric cars, when they do, they burn hotter and for a more extended period. Sometimes, being the most popular isn't the best, and that has been the story of Tesla. It has been in the news for many battery fires, explosions, and recalls. NBC News report on 30th of January 2023, a Tesla car battery spontaneously caught fire on a California freeway and required 6,000 gallons of water to douse. The Metro Fire Department reported in a series of tweets that nothing unusual had happened before the Tesla Model S became engulfed in flames, but that the car's battery cells continued to burn while the fire was being contained. Another similar incident occurred when a Tesla was reduced to ashes after catching fire on a Pennsylvania highway. Authorities reported that personnel spent nearly two hours pouring 12,000 gallons of water on the vehicle because the battery kept igniting and maintaining high temperatures, despite the constant stream of water. Images taken at the scene depicted a badly damaged car, with much of the frame burned away when the fire was put out. Chevy lovers may have realized that Chevy's ongoing battery fire drama was given additional fuel when a Bolt EV caught fire in a parking lot near a residence in Sacramento, California. The incident was caught on camera. The fire occurred when the battery-powered car was turned off and unplugged. As a result of the explosion, Chevrolet has extended its recall of bolts to include all bolts manufactured in the prior years. Several instances of battery fires prompted the first recall. General Motors has accused LG of producing defective batteries for its vehicles. Another EV manufacturer that had its fair share of exploding batteries is Lucid. Lucid has been steadily raising output since it opened its plant in Casa Grande, Arizona. According to reports, at least twice the local fire department was dispatched to the plant because of fire-related issues. A review of fire department data by reporters revealed that both fires started in the batteries of electric vehicles. At 10.30 p.m. on 14th of March 2022, a fire broke out in Lucid Motors' powertrain center, and firefighters noted a thermal runway. When firefighters arrived, the battery was already underwater. One person was hurt badly enough that they had to be taken to the hospital. Also, on the evening of the 19th of June 2022, a second fire erupted at the same facility. The Arizona Fire Department was called into action once more due to a battery at the factory. Although, by the time emergency personnel arrived, the battery was already immersed in the water outside the facility. According to reports, five people at the workplace were injured in the second fire. Four of them were sent to the hospital, while a sixth had to go to a nearby clinic to treat what may have been smoke inhalation. Both times, Lucid Motors was forced to evacuate the factory due to damage costs, which is not good news for the company. While many EV batteries explode, some EV manufacturers are on a recalling spree to mitigate the potential fire risk that may result. A Ford representative confirmed to Insider that the company was recalling hundreds of electric Mustang Mach-E SUVs and instructed dealers to cease supplying the model until a potential safety fault is fixed. CNBC broke a story, saying they learned of it via a warning Ford gave to its dealers. Ford claims the high-voltage battery system can overheat if subjected to DC quick charging or repetitive high-G acceleration. Ford has warned that this may lead to a power outage and consequently an increased risk of an accident. Approximately 48,924 Mustang Mach-E SUVs in the United States may be affected by the possible problem. However, Ford plans to deploy an OTA software update to fix the problem. Volkswagen is another company that is actively recalling vehicles. Because of potential wear on the wire connecting the 12-volt battery to the steering column, Volkswagen has issued a recall for more than 1,000 Volkswagen ID.4s now being assembled in Chattanooga, Tennessee, USA. In the worst-case scenario, a short-circuit or even full-scale EV fire could be caused by damage to the insulation of this connection. The VW ID.4 model years of 2022 and 2023 appears to be the only one affected by this recall as the fault does not appear to affect the popular all-wheel drive option. To wrap it up, the use of EVs has been projected to increase between 2021 through 2026, so EV manufacturers should step up their game to solve the battery issues to prevent increased battery fires in the future. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching.